Hello everyone and welcome back as we continue with our series on leaderboard tutorials for Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Today we are going to tackle the downloadable content which actually came out about six months after the original game. And I'm going to show you how I got the leaderboards in uh, I think all but one of these. One of them it's impossible to get the leaderboard. Oh, I'm sorry, it's impossible to get number one. Because the game actually counts down, so... Basically, whoever gets a perfect score first stays on the leaderboard forever. And that score can't be beaten. Because it's a countdown game, so everybody does it in the exact same time. But look at that, we just blew through the first one. That was uh, the big rimmed race off, and you can see I imported a custom vehicle to beat it. So you'll have to learn how to do that if you want to beat the game. But here's how I got the one with the um, player's choice. I basically, oh never mind. This is the guy that actually used to have number one. And he deserves a shout out because this is an awesome vehicle and he flew it perfectly. to get the record, which stood for the longest time until Gruntbot came along and stole it by cheating. But look at how sleek this vehicle is, even though it's got all eight jet engines on it. is a thing of beauty and it corners great because of those wings sticking out on the side. I think that was the only time you actually hit anything was right there but other than that, perfect run. So I looked at his record and he had it in 121. So basically I flew my vehicle for 119. And then I jump out and pause the game. And I pushed Banjo the rest of the way. Which if I remember right, I paused it right after uh, he got on the dock area. And then I pushed him the rest of the way because it's all flat for about six hours. And that's how I got the record. Not proud of it, but I got to number one. Okay, what's the next one? Several size sumo. Oh, this is funny. Some guy saw me on YouTube and asked me how I beat this game, and I told him. He said, well, I'm going to go steal your record, and sure enough, he did. So, More power to you, buddy. That was good. But basically, this one, uh, you just jump out of the vehicle as soon as it starts and pause it. And then create a vehicle such as this one to push Banjo around. And this vehicle will also be heavy enough to push Piglet out of the ring if you throw it at his car about a million times. And basically that's all you do. There's a lot you can do in this game once you learn how to just push Banjo around with a couple of blocks. I don't want to go to the title screen. I want to go to the next record, which is basically the same as the first one, the player's version. Which I still have the record in this one, even though it's the same exact thing. You just jump out immediately and pause the game. Except this one, you see I imported those sinkers, which makes it a lot easier to push Piglet out of the ring. Because it's not a log challenge. You can build your own vehicle, so definitely bring your sinkers with you. Okay, the next one is the paint one. What's it called? Glossy Gaffs? This one, for the longest time, everybody used a tray or a um, box to put the paint in with a couple of jets on the side. And I said, why are you wasting your time loading it up into a uh, box when you can just put a sticky ball on the front? And sure enough, that's all it took. Sticky ball works fine as long as you can drop it right on the NPC's head. Just 
this one you just kind of throw it in the general direction of the NPC. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it'll land and uh, it will give you credit for it. Fungo, take your paint. And that is how you get a record. But that one, uh, yeah, you can see I imported my vehicle into the Logs Challenge. But this one, the uh, Player's Challenge, where you can build your own vehicle, basically the same thing. I just imported a uh, vehicle with a sticky ball on it. Okay, Hoop Scoop, same thing. I imported a custom vehicle to cheat in the Logs Challenge. And then I used the same vehicle in the Player's Challenge because uh, nobody had thought to use the sticky balls to drag these basketballs around, but it's actually pretty easy once you get used to it. You get a record in no time at all. Just by building a vehicle that looks like this, with a couple of sticky balls, and then you can jet through these uh, checkpoints in no time at all. And that is how you get records in this game. What's next? Ben Hurdle. I think I imported a... Uh, well, this is my record using the player's choice vehicle. But in the log's choice one where you're supposed to use that big horse, I imported this vehicle and easily got the record by not using the horse, using the jet engine. heavy on one side as it is on the other side, but it has the maximum number of wings on it. And that just makes it turn perfectly, which is what you need in this game, because there's so many turns. And I will show you that I imported a custom vehicle into the logs challenge on that one. Shaved 19 seconds off the record. I was able to get it in one minute instead of one minute and 19 seconds. But there's the vehicle you're supposed to use, the guy on the horse. Get rid of his seat so it doesn't confuse things. And then we just launch our jet. Piece of cake. Okay, the last one. Like I said, I've got the record in the log challenge. And I didn't even cheat on this one. Basically, uh... This one, uh, car park cavalcade, you just have to stay inside the crown the whole way. And you can see I beat the record by one. And this is the one that counts down where you can't get like a better score than anybody else on the player's choice one. But on the log one, I said to myself, this vehicle doesn't even start inside the crown. So what I did was I paused the game and I made a little helicopter that could also also push Banjo inside the crown. Which I will get to here eventually. So basically what I did is I pushed Banjo inside the crown using this vehicle. And that was enough to get me one extra point. Which got me to first place above everybody else that has 203. And then in the Player's Choice Challenge, like I said, you just build yourself a vehicle, uh, like a helicopter. That's pretty quick, and you can tie for first place, but you'll never get first place. And that's it, folks. I will see you next time for the finale of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.